Okay, so you want to know how to get the Yorozu bind slash green bind slash mushroom frying bind, whatever you want to call it. It's a 4 second bind with a 30 minute cooldown. In order to get this skill, you must first complete the mushroom shrine questline. Once you completed the questline, there will be a quest in your light bulb called Threads of Fate, unraveling the Threads of Fate. Click on that and this window will appear. Yorozu is the character that gives you the bind skill, but she is locked from the start. In order to unlock Yorozu, you must first get Tengu up to 50 closeness. There are different ways to getting closeness each day. The simplest way is to do talks with Tengu. You could talk to Tengu once per hour. For each conversation, you get plus 3 closeness. When you click on talk, it will present you with different options. Some of the options do not give you plus 3 closeness each time. The conversations that you want to do is, let's talk about things you like, which will lead into, what does your rose you like, which will then lead into, yeah, so I've noticed. This will give you plus 3 closeness each time. Once you have above 50 closeness, talking to Tengu or talking to any character will not give you any closeness. If when you press talk and the conversation that you're looking for is not there, then all you have to do is press escape and then try again until it appears. You can also gift give Tengu an ore once a day for plus 3 closeness. He accepts opal ores, granite ores, emerald ores, or aquamarine ores. You just need to gift him one of these ores once per day. Once Tengu is at 50 closeness, a questline will become available. The quest will ask you to kill a gradual increase of mobs for a few times. So it's going to be something like 100 times, then kill 200 monsters, then 300, and so on. Something like that. I don't remember the exact numbers, but... It, it, it's something like that and it'll end eventually. Once you complete the quest, Yorozu will become available permanently. You technically do not need to talk or to gift give to Tengu anymore. You could let his closeness drop down to zero if you really wanted to. Once you have Yorozu unlocked, it's going to be the same thing that you're doing for Tengu, but this time you have to get up to 70 closeness to unlock the skill. You could talk to Yorozu once every hour for plus 3 closeness each time, up until 50 closeness. Yorozu's conversations go like this. Let's talk about Tengu, which will lead into what, what is your relationship with Tengu, which will then lead into you seem awfully fond of him. You could do this once per hour up until 50 closeness. You could also gift Yorozu either a twisted time, a basic spell essence, basic item crystal, or intermediate item crystal. You do this once per day for 3 closeness. After reaching 50 closeness for any of these characters, you must clear Tengu the boss found in Moonlight Bamboo Grove. Tengu is not like any other Maple Story boss. In order to do Tengu in a party, you and your party members must be within 20 levels of each other. Once you enter Tengu, you must talk to the NPC to summon the boss. All of your attacks will miss. You cannot deal normal damage. What you have to do to kill Tengu is enter these test phases and pass. Periodically, Tengu will summon this purple zone around him. He must be within the zone and press spacebar in order to enter the test phase. The test phase is going to ask you to press an arrow key and also an S button which is considered the space bar. If you happen to mess up one of these, you will instantly fail the test and you will have to keep trying again. Failing the test does not have any downside aside from just taking longer to kill the boss. For each pass, you will do about one tenth of its HP bar, so you have to do about 10 tests over and over again. You will have 10 lives for this boss, and all lives are shared within the party. So if you're running with one member, and if one member dies 10 times, you both fail. Tengu does have a few attacks. Not many of them are too dangerous. One attack is when his eyes turn green and he does this weird screech. Tengu will summon a few birds. You could just easily kill them. 
they're not too harmful, but it is a knockback attack as well. You want to try to avoid staying directly under his feet because he does occasionally slam down and this also does one shot. Another attack is when Tengu summons a tornado. If he flies towards the left side, he will summon a tornado on the right and vice versa. If he flies to the right side, he will summon a tornado to the left. You will get sucked towards the tornado, but the tornado does not deal too much damage. To avoid getting sucked and you could either hold the directional key of the opposite direction of the tornado, or if you're on the left side, you can hold on to the rope. Another attack is when Tengu goes up into the sky and there will be this orange zone on the floor. You must avoid being on top of this orange zone or else you will get one shot. After a few swoops, he will swoop in from the middle. To dodge this one, either hug the left corner or the right corner. After each of these swoops, he will normally always start the purple zone again, so this is always the time where you could guarantee to deal some sort of damage. For each clear of Tengu, you get plus 3 closeness on the character of your choosing. After killing Tengu, make sure you do not leave to the left portal. Make sure you speak to Tengu first and then choose the character which you want to increase closeness on. And you could clear Tengu 5 times a day for plus 15 closeness. After each reset, all characters will go down in closeness. Some drop by minus 3, some drop by minus 2. Yorozu drops by 3 points each day. So you must do Tengu until you reach 70 closeness. Once you reach 70 closeness, you will unlock the skill. There is no prequest, you get it instantly. After reset, her closeness will drop down by 3, so you can gift give to her once a day to bring the closeness back up to 70. Upon doing so, you will receive the skill instantly. I hope the video was easy to follow and clear to understand. Getting the Yorozu bind really is not too difficult. It is very easy to maintain once you get it. It could be a little tedious at first, but I think it is really worth it for a lot of endgame players. One thing I forgot to mention in the video is that the Yorozu bind is stackable on top of other binds as well as other Yorozu binds. So the normal rotation would be to use a normal bind, then lucid bind if you have that, and then you would use Yorozu bind. So one member could use theirs first, then a second member if they have it they could use theirs, and third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. And some classes who have reset skills can reset the Yorozu bind and then use it once again. So if you play a zero or a shade, this skill could be very, very fun to use and I would highly recommend it, especially if you play zero. It feels pretty broken. <laughs> if you do have any other questions about Yorozu, Tengu, or even any of the other characters, because all of the characters have their own unique skill. Most of them aren't really that notable. One of them would be this one, Hers is a 5 second iframe, but the cooldown is 30 minutes, and yes, reset skills also reset this skill as well. But if you do have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I will do my best to answer them in a timely manner, or you could catch me on my live streams at twitch.tv slash tongun underscore ms. I'm usually live around reset time up until midnight eastern time, sometimes even later if I'm training, but if you do have any questions, feel free to stop by. I am live usually every single day. Thank you guys for watching till the end of the video, and I hope you guys enjoy your Yorozu bind.